What is up YouTube? How you doing? It's me, Canon Miko, aka Ocean Crash. Welcome to Before We Work, baby. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Got my laptop, got my notebook, taking notes. Had a few calls this morning. <sighs> uh, today's gonna be a busy day, y'all. I can feel it. Feeling my bones. Oh man. Today, we're gonna talk about something beautiful today. We're gonna talk about five tips, five to make your coffee or tea better tasting. All right. I know all of you love coffee and tea in the morning. I love coffee. I get my tea sometimes. I'm Middle Eastern, so I gotta have that black tea. Ooh, tastes so good. Tastes so good. So we're gonna talk about number one. If your coffee or tea is too bold or too light and you want to adjust it, easiest tip to adjusting that people don't know how to do it sometimes. If your coffee or tea is too dark, add a little bit less water into your tea. All right. Or sorry, if it's too dark, add more water to your tea. If your coffee's too dark, add a little less coffee beans or add more water. It'll make it lighter. Common sense, right? You think so. Some people don't know it. If your coffee or tea's too light, add a little bit more tea or add a little bit more uh, more coffee into your more more grains into your coffee. Simple as that. Easy. All right. Tip number two. All right. If you want your coffee or tea sweet, but you don't want to add sugar, easy. Easy solution. Check out. Keto Coffee Creamer, all right? You can use it for tea, you can use it for coffee, you can use it for anything that's bold. I think they even use it in some protein shakes. It's a great creamer, it's great for anything that you drink that, that you wanna you know, add some cream in there. It's delicious, it's delicious. Keto Coffee Creamer, you gotta try it, it's delicious. Uh, and if you're on keto, it's a win-win for you. You don't have to be on keto to use it. It's just a low, low, low carb, low sweetener creamer. All right. That's tip number two. Tip number three: Before you have your coffee and your tea, heat up that mug. Throw it in the microwave. Throw it in a conventional oven. Throw it in your oven. As long as you're not leaving there for about three hours, you're good. Put it in there for five, 10, 15 minutes. Shorter. I don't think you need to have it in there for 15 minutes until it's warm to the touch. You got a great drinking experience and a great physical physical experience. You know, get a warm mug. Uh, I feel like it helps preserve the heat the the heat in your beverage, and it also just makes your you know your hands warmer in the process. It's especially more useful in the winter too. So that's a great thing to do when you're drinking your your delicious beverage. All right. Tip number four. All right. When you're using half and half, and you want more of a quality experience. Stop using powder at home, all right? Use milk, all right? If you want fattier milk, use heavy cream, all right? If you want to use cream, if you want your, your your coffee to taste smooth and silky smooth and you want it to taste clean, all right, you gotta use half and half. You shouldn't be using powder creamer if you're at home, unless you're lactose free, even though they've got lactose milk, that's, that's not powder, milk substance liquid form, um, and only time you should be really using powder, all right, powdered milk, all right, powdered dairy, is when you're on the road or if you're camping or if you want to use keto creamer. Those are your only reasons. Only reasons. I don't want to hear it. It'll make your coffee and or tea better. Um, shout out to all my, my tea fans that drink half and half with their tea. Baby is delicious. I don't know how people can drink it straight. I drink it straight, but it's 10 times better with creamer. And then, last tip. Invest in high quality mugs, all right? If you've got a really bad mug, all right? If you've got a really bad mug, it'll mess up the taste and the, the quality and texture of your coffee. It will. When you, have a, when you have a bad mug, it doesn't balance the temperatures correctly in your beverage, all right? It'll mess around with the flavors, all right? You'll have a cold beverage on the bottom, hot or hot on the bottom, or cold on the bottom, hot on the top. And the, the temperatures won't mix, it won't be fluid throughout the cup. Trust me. Drink a cup of coffee, alright, in a in a you know five dollar mug, and then drink one in like a thirty dollar mug. You will taste the difference. Not saying five dollar mugs are the devil, just saying you'll taste the difference. So those are five tips to make your coffee and or tea taste better. Thank you so much guys for tuning in for before we work. My name is Ken Amico, aka Ocean Crash. I love you guys so much. Till next time, have a good one. Peace.